Welcome to this e-learning course overview presented by Visible Systems Corporation. This video provides a preview of the material covered in the complete course. For additional information about this course, please click on the link below and you will be redirected to our website with more details about the course. You can also contact us at elearning at visible.com or visit our website at www.visible.com. Welcome to the Object Oriented Analysis and Design Tutorial. My name is Michael Paul and I'm the Director of Development for Visible Systems. In this tutorial, we will be using Visible Analyst to show the model types employed in object and oriented analysis and design. This lesson introduces the class diagram and how it is constructed using Visible Analyst. Visible Analyst provides a series of capabilities for supporting the definition of object classes and a variety of object relationships and methods. Visible Analyst implements the concepts of object modeling and design as developed by James Rumba for the General Electric Company and OMG's Unified Modeling Language, or UML. These methods are similar, so they are covered together here. The key to object modeling is the development of class diagrams that show the object elements and relationships, including cardinality, attributes, association, inheritance, and aggregation. There is considerable flexibility in these concepts to allow the user to define and implement a number of variations and options in the object model. Visible Analyst's object modeling approach is implemented in a way that is very similar to the entity, entity relationship model that is covered in a separate tutorial. A rectangular symbol is used to represent both a data entity and a class object. The relationship and cardinality questioning sequence is similar. Attributes of both entities and classes are displayed in similar formats. The key differences are in the extended definitions of the object in the visible repository. The object model is represented by class diagrams, abbreviated as CLDs, that contain classes, with an object being an instance of a class. The relationships between the classes for a project are depicted with lines and symbols to depict inheritance and aggregation. Like the entity relationship diagram, the class diagram can be built into views that show all or a subset of the classes and their relationships. 